Did your kids know? Harley Davidson Sportster since 1957. This is not a 1957. It is a 2004 with some goodies on it. Got some good pipes. Got a Electron carburetor, Arlen Ness intake. Uh, progressive suspension front and rear with a fork brace. Um, it's got cams in it and an ignition tuner. Um, oh, last weekend we did the, uh, well, I did new grips. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find black ones. And inside here is the G2 throttle. Uh, if you notice, that's a single throttle cable uh, for these electron carburetors. And uh, this speeds up to a quarter turn throttle so you don't have to crank it all the way over. And then Red Lady installed new mirrors on her bike. And we went for a ride. Uh, went for a ride and there, where's Sterling? Right, right there. Uh, we went for a ride around Lake Tahoe and I didn't get to ride her bike. So today we're going to enjoy some ridey ridey times over here. And uh, as you can see, Red Lady could have, did a good job putting her mirrors on. It kind of matches the style of the bike. I know a lot of the uh, the hooligans out there like uh, no mirrors on a bike, but Red Lady's still learning. She's not capable of hooligan-like activities. And uh, down here, uh, they didn't have the chrome versions of these in stock. I forgot what they're called. I think it's called a pingle. And uh, let's get this thing started, huh? Everyone comments, the sportsters have a weird place for their... Let's turn off the bright lights there, huh? Uh, we're placed for the ignition and we're in neutral Let's see if it'll start Don't tell me I gotta choke it on a 90 degree day doing today kids how was that for a little a little Hollywood magic featuring your uh, your your boy Sterling oh geez if you ever actually hear me say that in public you are more than welcome to knock me off my motorcycle so this is the first time that I've ridden uh, Red Lady's Sportster, the uh, Sport Lady, uh, since installing the new throttle, the new grips, and uh, I had to rewire all the switches over here. And uh, you will see some poking out right there, but just ignore that right now. It's waterproof and that's all that matters. Today we are, uh, Doing another little motor vlog version. Well, I'm gonna say this is what 3.0. And uh, got my cool microphone on. Got my cool GoPro mounted to my chest with Super View turned on. We are running 60 frames per minute on a Hero 11 with a max lens mod. And I know some of you will say, Sterling, didn't you personally tell me not to film in 60 frames per second? I was like, oh. 
if you're looking to save space on a on your you know memory card or your computer when you're editing then yeah don't don't run 60 frames per second because uh, it, it really takes up the takes up the memories but yeah we're uh, riding into town I need to check my mail because uh, I refuse to use direct deposit for some reason because I'm lazy and I got I got the uh, de deficiency of attention disorder I don't know what you call it it don't matter I don't even care oh I just caught a bee in my knee it makes you wonder why you know we don't wear shorts and a t-shirt on a motorcycle and I took the uh, windshield off and I took the sissy bar off and the rear back that she rides with we are riding naked today as much as it well except for the gloves I, mean, I got some cheap ass gloves here I really want to get one of those Odin you know the pair of Odin gloves that you kids you know Brap star and all them kids like to uh, like to utilize but I am not the kind of person that can order gloves uh, mail order it would drive me nuts I need I need to put them on my hands and if they don't fit on my hands I need to put them on my feet and walk around on my hands I think that's the correct way to do it uh, yeah I, I, I can't mail order a set of gloves that's that's just stupid which sucks because like I'm a fat dude so like I don't like trying on clothes so I just order clothes that are too big for me anyway you can't really do that with gloves it's it, you, you gotta have a, a good it's gotta fit you right is what I'm trying to say it's gotta fit you right but uh, yeah this is the first time I've ridden her bike since doing the upgrades and stuff I did a little test ride around the block when I installed it uh, the G2 throttle it's a ramped throttle like thing I don't know what you call it really but it works I see your signal on but you better stay behave yourself this is my lane right now remember kids throttle up on your downshifts look at that Suzuki nope uh, tracker geo tracker got ourselves a Wrangler god damn this thing's okay so it's got a quarter turn throttle on it now and it was like adding 30 horsepower like it, this thing rides more like my Japanese bike my my Yamaha FJR because that throttle is just like in addition to the Billitron carburetor on this thing uh, Jesus like you just got to think about it and it, it wants to go it really does the bike's running a lot better than the last time I rode it um, I think our trip we did about 300 miles uh, I, I think it got the carbon out of the cylinders red lady tends to ride a little too low in the rpms kind of like I'm doing right now exhaust I should friggin use it come on now Sterling Jeez. call myself a professional motorcyclist terrible it says narrow bridge 35 miles an hour don't look at my speedometer please that's in kilometers I'm telling you don't look at it It is a beautiful day out here. It is about, I'm going to say 78.2 degrees. And uh, for my European friends, I'll put the Celsius right there. Running that fork brace up front makes this thing friggin', it just, it just wants to go. It wants to handle. It's not floppy in the front end, you know? Even though these Sportsters have like a... They have a skinny front tire, you know, 21 inch rim, I think. 
Um, so handling is, is not that good. At all. dog on his on his side by side now I gotta warn you I'm doing the speed limit <laughs> oh man maybe I should have worn pants and a shirt because uh, the bugs popping off me right now really fucking hurt it's painful, but you know, sometimes it's good to pain ourselves into some uh, motorcycle riding. If it don't hurt, it ain't worth it, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh man. Yeah, I should have worn pants. And I'm not wearing panties too. Terrible. So the bike has progressive suspension on it. I really wanted to do like something cool like Legends or something like that or something like infinitely adjustable. Um, but the limited options for a 2004 Sportster made me decide to just go mail order, friggin' simple, you know, get your, get your simple little uh, progressive suspension. You know, it wasn't cheap. Um, it's got stiffer springs on it, and uh, you know the valving is different in the in the shocks as well. So it's it rides pretty damn rough. Remember, kids, crack that throttle on your downshifts, just like you're driving a semi truck. Speaking of semi trucks, I want your job, asshole. is really goddamn spectacular I'll tell you that like I, I, I gotta give myself a round of applause for fixing the throttle on this thing it is beautiful it really is Sterling is a very very happy boy four-way stop in action right here. I, I can't tell you kids how absolutely happy I am about fixing that throttle. I gotta... <laughs> if you see me ducking, it's because I don't have a windshield. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck a bug! <laughs> Kids, don't do what Sterling does. Just put the windshield on the motorcycle. Um, so this is a Harley Davidson Sportster 1200. I just took a, a butterfly to the neck. Um, it's the 1200C. So it'll it'll get up with the going. It'll it'll get up with the going. I was a little worried about Red Lady using this as her training motorcycle, but she actually rode my 1980 Goldwing uh, before learning how to ride this. This bike has been troublesome for me. Over the years, I've, I've had to... Oh, do I want to turn up here? No, it's good to face the sun. Cinematography! Brought to you by Sterling. Sterling Wheel! Oh, I should have went that way. The road over there is all curvy and shit. Anyway, this bike took a while to get running again. And Red Lady wanted to name it something else other than uh, the Sport Lady. Um, 
she wanted to name it uh, Phoenix. I'm slowing down for this turn because there's a fucking shit ton of gravel right here. took me forever to get this bike to running right. Uh, I was having uh, carburetor issues and ignition issues and all sorts of crap. And I thought the bike was going to be an absolute piece of shit and not run right ever. And I did some research. I uh, checked out the cams and stuff and realized that uh, this thing's got a little, it's got some good stuff in it. So running a stock Harley carburetor, plus we're at high altitude here in Fallon, Nevada, I didn't want, I didn't want stock. Everything else on this bike has been done. It's got the exhaust, it's got the cams, it's got the ignition, you know. Uh, so I went with the Biltron carburetor on it and it solved all the problems on this bike completely. Yeah, sometimes it's a little hard to start. Like earlier in the video, you saw me struggling because I didn't bother using the, using the choke. I don't know if it's a choke or en 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 enricher. Is that what they call it? Enricher? En en Enrique? I gotta find the Manuel and uh, ask Manuel where the uh, en Enrique is. Um, let's get out here on the highway. Oh, sun to our back. I'll fix that real quick, kids. Taking the turn, taking the turn, not wearing pants off, taking the turn. Rev limiter! <laughs> so like I was saying, I've got the bike running great right now. And Red Lady's enjoying it. I'm enjoying Red Lady riding it because, you know, I put it together. New tire, suspension, carburetor. I got it tuned. And this bike is very special to me. This is the first Harley Davidson I ever rode. Uh, I used to belong to a dear friend that uh, is not a friend anymore. And uh, I bought it off him for a pretty good price. And uh, he fought me on getting the title and a whole bunch of other crap. Actually, he fought Red Lady because it's it's her bike. And that's what friends do, you know. But, you know, let's not worry about friendships and whether or not they still exist. It's sad. It's just... Listen, kids, like, I'm a nice guy. I'll be your friend forever. I'll be loyal and kind and... I'll take you on motorcycle rides. And we could chill and hang out and like I said, we could be friends. But just don't don't screw me, don't ghost me. You know? Now I've gotta make friends on YouTube. I can't do it in public. <laughs> oh, Sterling. Cause he is a wanderer. Yeah, the wanderer. Anyway, this bike right here was the first Harley Davidson I ever rode. And I'm having some throttle issues. I need a new throttle cable. It keeps getting sucked into the throttle housing. Can he fix it while he's riding? The answer is yes. Sterling can fix anything, anytime, anywhere. That's the advantage of being a Sterling, by the way, is uh, you can't go through life half cocked. You gotta be full cock around Sterling. I don't like the camera facing the sun, uh, so I do apologize for that, but I wanna get to where I'm going. I need to get to my mailbox and uh, get my, my paycheck. I got, I got to put gas in this thing. Right now I've got 149 miles on this tank of fuel that we bought in South Lake Tahoe. The road's kind of bumpy, so if you hear my voice, if it sounds like I'm jacking off, um, look, I'm doing it with no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Um, it's the bumps in the road. It's like little stutter bumps. 
we don't have frost heaves out here like you kids have in the Midwest or back east or up northwest, northeast. Other parts of the country, the permafrost does its thing and the asphalt like makes little jumps, right? Like what I'm currently experiencing. But worse, Nevada has the best roads in the country. Um, with that being said, stay the fuck out of Nevada. Do not move here. Nevada is terrible. It's ugly. There's prostitutes. You prostitution's legal here. There, look, I could st I could pull over at any time and be accosted by prostitutes. Lots of them. Big prostitutes too. Big burly prostitutes. But if you think I'm a burly looking dude, you should see the prostitutes that will that will come out of the hills and the bushes and the drainage can canals. Because, you know, everyone wants a piece of sterling. <laughs> Ask Red Lady. Um, I'm not familiar with the road that I'm currently on. Honestly. But I'm, I'm not the kind of person that gets lost. Like, I know where I'm, I'm going to wind up. Um, you can't see it, but over there is the Dairy Farmers of America. And there's a little bit of a windy road over there. We're going to take that windy roads and motorcycles are best friends. Do you kids know that? Ah, oh, my throttle. Fucking cable. Okay, I, I gotta order a, a custom throttle cable for this thing. Because that is friggin' annoying. I bumped the idle up for Red Lady. Makes it a little bit easier for her to ride. can't see it but there's a scooter buddy I think he was on a dyna can you kids see it oh I could have turned the camera around but I'm I'm lazy I don't want to turn the camera around actually I'm going to turn the camera around look at this oh I just turned the camera around and there's like bug guts like you wouldn't believe we are turning left Turn left with Sterling. That guy's window's down. Dare me to uh, go screaming by. No, I'm not an asshole like that. Uh, to our left is the Dairy Farmers of America. I think it's a dehydration plant. I've hauled loads out of there before. Scrape a peg? The answer is no. Watch out for the tar snakes. It's not hot enough for like tar snakes to be really slippery, but you got to be careful with them. Um, this facility here on our right, I've showed you kids this before. That is our new. Uh, Amazon kind of sort facility. It's not a big Amazon, but it's, uh, you know, it's just going to be for like quick deliveries and stuff like that. We don't need a big Amazon facility out here. I knew I'd find you kids a curvy road. I knew I'd do it. Um, I want to give some shout outs. To a few people. Uh, rolling with T-Bone. Check out his channel. He's got a pretty cool channel. Recycled Hooligan. He's got a good channel. Uh, Motobomb Virginia. He's got a good channel. Off the rev limiter for Motobomb. Um, Sick Bastard. Uh, these are all people you'll see in my live shows and in my comment sections and stuff. So if I miss anybody, like Ray Gregory Rides, he does these Wednesday videos. He's pretty consistent with it. So please, subscribe to him. Give him a follow. 
Um, if you're if you're new to following any of these people, put in their comment sections. Um, three elephants for Sterling, or put a wheel. Put three wheels for Sterling wheel. What do you think of that? But yeah, we've I've built a pretty good community around my channel. My channel, if you if it was to be categorized, is people and blogs or vlogs. Uh, I consider myself a people and a bit of a vlogger. Like right now, we're doing a motor vlog uh, version 3.0. That's the trailer park I used to live in. You kids can't really see it. Just take my word for it. And if you don't take my word for it, unsubscribe, desubscribe, uh, unlike, disavow, deconstruct, counteract. Damn, that's a nice Toyota. Brother. He just released my inner Hulk Hogan. Brother. Seriously, that was a really, really nice Landy Cruiser over D. I got a cough. <coughs> oh, we're just cruising through the neighborhoods with my loud exhaust. Okay, Sterling, let's let's try to be quiet. Let's try to be quiet. Quiet. We got people walking. There's babies sleeping around here. We gotta be we gotta be really quiet. Don't be loud, Sterling. Nice and nice and quiet. Here we see the Harley Rider. In his natural habitat. Bringing a ruckus of loud volume exhaust to the neighborhoods surrounding Fallon, Nevada. Yes. His natural habitat. The Harley Rider runs on 91 octane because that's the highest octane he can get in this godforsaken part of the country observe the harley rider as he rides through the apartment complexes as quiet as possible as to not disturb the natural inhabitants of Fountain, Nevada. Oh shit, we're on Broadway. You kids know there's a there's a friggin' Broadway in, in Fallon, Nevada. I'm telling you, like we got everything here. There's no reason for me to ever leave this town. Seriously, we got a friggin' Broadway. Um, this guy's got a bunch of like BMWs here on my left. He doesn't want to sell any of them. And then right here, that's the Overland Hotel with a bar. That's pretty cool, right? We're coming up on uh, on downtown Fallow. I know I've brought your brought you kids here before. Uh, there's a sushi joint right there. It's always closed, it seems. We got the Mustang. I don't think that's a Roush. Does that look like a Roush Mustang to you? Let's see, it's got one exhaust tip, so it could be it could be a four popper and it could be a six banger. It could be a four popper in the trunk, a six banger under the bonnet. Oh, shout out to my European friends. Uh, Tyke Trucking. Um, we've got Kime to Go. We've got... Oh, please forgive me if I forget. Uh, it's like Toji29, I think. Um, who else do we have from the UK? Uh, Tolga. He's from Turkey, but I'm just going to call it the UK. He's got a UK accent, so... Um, I've never heard... Um, Camille's accent so I I don't know what's a what's a Pakistani accent my friend <laughs> Sterling is not racist okay 
That was a mild-mannered joke. Calm yourselves. Jesus, you're so sensitive. Every single one of you. <sighs> Reaching down, cut the ignition, and kickstand down. These carburetors, these Biltron carburetors, they got a clear float bowl. And uh, I can look down at any time and gander. <clears throat> you can gander to see the uh, fuel level. You kids want to see a fuel level? Look at that. Right. There. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah, welcome to the uh, sport lady. We're going to walk into the uh, office of male genitalia. Hello, you've got mail. I can't clip you to something. What can I put you on? Can I just set you right there? As you gander at my morbid obesity while I check the mail. Come on. Here. I got the max lens mod. I can just lay the camera down. It does its things. I'm hoping my paycheck's in. Yeah, seriously, Sterling, get... Okay, so I've got the voting flyers. They get recycled. Word up to Recycled Hooligan. And I do have my paycheck. I had to shut off the camera for a second because somebody walked in here. And uh, nobody likes motorcycle riders that like are standing around in public talking to themselves. We are going to not show you my paycheck. <clears throat> you, you kids want to know how much it is? I know you do. Don't be too impressed. It's 1600 bucks. That's how much I get paid a week. For all the hassles that I put up with, with the general public, all the other crap happening in life out there on the roads. I do mobile deposit. And when you do it, you got to write it on the back of the check what your bank is. And, uh, you know, it's getting deposited to said bank. <clears throat> I'm going to get this deposited so I can... Uh, purchase gas <laughs> let's just think say things are a little a little tight let's see here picture 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 and back of the check picture 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 got Deposit. It didn't work. It doesn't like light backgrounds. Okay. So I'll get $400 today and $1,200 on the first. I'm happy about that, sort of. How many days are in the month of September? September. September. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is about 1600 bucks a week. Is it worth it? 
kinda. But at my age and my experience, I should be making more. But I'm not, because I'm lazy, I'm fat. And uh, if you don't go through life, you know, constantly trying to improve yourself, you will plateau. And at the age of 44, I plateau at about, what, 90 grand a year, something like that. <clears throat> I do have some investments in Bitcoin as well, but that's stuff. So yeah, welcome to the sport, lady. We can uh, afford a little bit of fuel on it. I'm gonna top it off for Red Lady. Red Lady treats me very damn well. And uh, I'll make sure her motorcycle has fuel. Cause listen, if you wanna make a woman happy, like really happy, the kind of happy that she returns the favor tenfold, make sure your woman has gas at all times. Seriously. I have never met a woman that didn't appreciate me giving her gas. Especially the single moms out there. Shout out to the all the single ladies. <laughs> oh, Beyonce wasn't uh, quite concise in what she meant on that song. Okay, so we've got 154 miles. <sighs> and, uh, oh, Sterling is fat. Bumps hurt, Sterling. There is a uh, petrol station right down the street here. And, uh, we shall be doing the petrol dance. It's the petrol dance. Oh, you can gas if you want to. You can waste all sorts of money. Because if you got money and your friend's got money, then you're definitely a friend of mine. Say. <laughs> oh, nice and easy. We're just cruising. Cruising the main streets. Welcome to Fallon, Nevada, the natural habitat of the Sport Lady Rider. Motorcycle rider. Saw him right there. You saw him too. For a brief second. It was a motorcycle rider. Let's see. Uh, all of us motorcycle riders are related, so we have to wave, wave to each other. There will be no uh, lack of motorcycle wavings you gotta wave and for for people it's like two wheels down and i realized in a video recently uh where red lady and i were climbing up monitor pass i gave the two wheels down wave to somebody riding a tricycle oh sterling why would you call it a tricycle well because it's a polaris little thing it has three wheels so you call it a tricycle. Right? Three wheels is tricycle. Prove me wrong. Look it up on Google. How much do you think gas is? $4.34. Unhappy about that. Where's the kickstand? Uh, when you're wearing shorts on a motorcycle it's very important that you know exactly where the kickstand is because you'll uh, run the chance of burning your little tootsies burning your little tootsies and no I'm not wearing sandals if I was riding the gold wing then yeah Sandling it up like a mofo. 
I'll have my sandals on and one sock. What do you think of that? If you're wondering what I'm wearing, that is the GoPro chesty. And fuel discount activated. Today, we are utilizing 91 octane. Let's turn that that way and give you a view of the hole. Can you kids see the hole? I don't know if you can. Let's move you. Why would you come to my channel and not want to see a hole? A lot of motorcycle content and wheeled content because that's what I do around here. 91 octane. Gonna stick it in the fuel hole. Oh. If you had a gas pump and it plays a commercial, press the bottom right button. Keep in mind, we gotta do a fuel mileage calculation on this. I believe it's a four gallon tank. I hear a scooter buttery in the background. Remember, we're all related. Okay, that's full enough. You gotta leave some room for expansion. Okay, so I just pumped. I just pumped some gallons, right? No printed receipt. 3.1 gallons. 3.1 gallons. And our mileage, let's just take pictures of it so I don't forget. There, 155.1, and try not to get some glare there. Let's do the math on that when we get a chance, huh? But we're fueled, cap is on, we can ride towards home. What do you kids think of that? It's beautiful out here right now. Um, I might sound a little winded, I might sound a little tired. Uh, some of you might say, Sterling, you sound a little depressed. No, we're doing okay. It's just, I woke up last night at, I didn't wake up last night. I stayed up last night. I didn't get much sleep. <clears throat> so I'm really tired. And uh, filming this video is gonna be pretty much the only thing I'm gonna get done today. But I want to thank you for riding along with me. I did have a touch of the depression this week. Doesn't that start amazing? Um, always looking for a good camera angle. How about that for a camera angle? Get it way, way out there. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of depression this week. I've, I'm just, I don't like my job. And it's getting on my nerves. And uh, this isn't the best job hunting economy right now. And I want a big change in life. And I kind of want out of the trucking industry, to be honest with you. Weren't you supposed to put your feet down when you come to a stop, Sterling? No, because I'm a good motorcycle rider. Yeah, um, I'm a little nervous about trying to find a job, so. I've got a couple prospects out there 
And uh, unfortunately, I, I live in a small town, so there's a lot of the good old boys club going on out here. So I can't expect too much. I might, I might be stuck at what I'm doing. And, and Friday, I had a, a talk with the safety manager. And I told him, like, seriously, dude, I hate the fucking camera. I don't want that camera on me at all times because it only records when I do something bad. It will never record when I save a minivan full of people who are distracted driving. I see they're, they're holding their cell phone and everybody else in the minivan is holding their cell phone and they're coming straight at me. I have that happen to me so many times in the last year. I save many lives and I, I'm not, you know, humble bragging or anything like that. Hashtag humble brag. It's, I'm a very courteous, safe driver. Um, I'm offensive when I need to be. I'm defensive most of the time. But ultimately, I want to get home and I want to get paid. I want to I want to stay in these $1,600 a week paychecks, you know? And like I said, the camera's never going to catch me doing something good. And it's just going to build a case against me as long as it's on there. And, you know, altogether, what it does is it builds a point score. And the contractors that have the worst points will have their contracts, you know, they'll start losing routes and they'll start, they'll be subject to shitty behavior is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and right, right Aero Trucking has the right to do that. You know, they're the ones paying the insurance and stuff. And not only that, but the economy is changing to the point where they need to thin the herd. There's too many truck drivers and it just sucks. Like right now, we're, we're gonna have a port strike. You know, all the port workers are gonna go on strike, strike, which needs to happen. It's a necessary evil of a shrinking economy. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, people have to strike and they might lose their jobs and, you know, arguing about whatever their contract is. But it's a necessary evil of a shrinking economy. The economy grew way too fast. And it grew artificially. I'm not going to say why. Something about uh, sweet and sour sniffles. 